Hey there, plastics. It's Joe here, and welcome to Plastic Chat, my channel where we talk about dolls, toys, collectibles, and whatever I want. This is another episode of Doll Tea, my weekly recap show where we talk about the latest doll news, spill the tea, and just give my general thoughts about dolls, the doll drama, and whatever else is happening in that community. We have a lot to talk about today. There's not one specific topic for this video, so let's just go through and talk about some new dolls that were announced in the last few weeks, what happened in the last week with Earth Day, and see if I can unbox some dolls for you guys. Most of these sources are from this website called You Love It. They condense a lot of the doll and toy news into one website, which makes it a lot easier for me, so thank you. Shout out to youloveit.com. Shout out to his family. And also also some other sources which I may blur because some people have been getting in trouble, me included. Why don't we get into it? First news that we're going to talk about are these Harry Potter dolls and these are actually gonna be from Spin Master. I don't really have any Spin Master dolls, so I'm not entirely sure what kind of dolls they do. According to this, Harry Potter Wizarding World 8 inch dolls from Spin Master. It's gonna be Harry Potter, Hermione, Granger, Luna Lovegood, doll sets, and more. So I am so excited about these news. I'm a pretty big Harry Potter fan, and to be honest, I haven't really liked the dolls that Mattel have been releasing. Was it Mattel that released them, or was it a different company? I'm not entirely sure, but I'm liking these dolls because they're different design. They are much more stylized, and I like more stylized types of dolls and that type of art. The other ones were looking more realistic shall we say so it says in 2021 spin master will produce a lot of harry potter related toys and dolls okay so the dolls are going to be eight inches apparently we have these blurry images they're kind of pixelated but here we have a harry potter doll that looks so freaking cute it looks like they're really inspired by like the anime style and they kind of look like a little bit chibi this is cute i love it i can see the green eyes from here i'm a huge harry potter fan so maybe i'll get these i'm not sure next we have hermione granger which in my opinion looks super cute look at that doll she's freaking adorable it looks like they all come with wands which i really appreciate and i love that they're in their classic hogwarts uniform from the films and we have a better picture of the hermione granger doll look at this guys look at this picture it looks so freaking cute the doll's eyes oh my gosh i wonder if they're actually inset eyes i can't really tell so yeah looking at this doll the hair looks pretty cute. It's very classic Hermione with the very floofy hair and the curls. I love that the wand has a little thumb thing so you just attach it by the thumbs. The uniform looks pretty cute. It doesn't look like terribly you know well made but you know it looks it looks adorable. I wonder how much these are gonna cost but what I really like is that she comes with a tool skirt and it looks like there's a bit of glitter. It looks like they're coming this fall so oh that's coming up already, guys. We're basically in summer. This was listed on Amazon Canada, and it looks like it's gonna be $12.99 Canada, so about $10 US. So, wow, that is a really good price. Might actually convince me to buy some of these. Hmm, what do you guys think? Would you guys like to see a review of these? And continuing on, literally my favorite character, Luna Lovegood. This one looks so cute. I myself am a Ravenclaw. Shout out to my Ravenclaws out there. Shout out to his family. So I really love that there's a Ravenclaw doll with Luna Lovegood. And it looks like there's gonna be a friendship pack with Cho and Hedwig. Very, very pixelated image. And we also have Ron and Ginny here, but this looks more like concept art and looks like it also comes with pink, the pink, uh, puff skeins. I don't really know what they're called, but I've seen them in the, the Harry Potter world and Universal. They're pretty cute, but they're kind of expensive. I also really like the scabbers. I wonder how that's going to look. So they're gonna actually going to release quite a few dolls with this line because there's also Hagrid with Fang, which looks so freaking adorable. I really want this one. Hagrid is one of my favorite characters as well. And it looks like there's also going to be a Spin Master Care of Magical Creatures play set. So I wonder what that will entail. I can't really see anything. It's it's very blurry, but it looks very cute, along with a classroom playset. I can't really tell what professor that is. And it also looks like they're gonna do a mini Hogwarts Castle playset that will be about $60. If this is correct, this will all be released in 
fall. That is the first little batch of doll tea. I'm pretty excited about these dolls, not gonna lie. I really like the stylization of the dolls and they look super cute and a pretty good price point for what they are. So I may actually have to buy some and open them for you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So let's spill the next tea. Just a little bit of an update, but it looks like they will be releasing a playset for the Barbie Extra line. And it looks okay. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of the Barbie extra line that much. The dolls, I like the concepts, but the actual dolls, eh. Actually, just to update you guys, I decide to redress one of my girls from the Wild Hearts crew. Does anyone have one of those? And I actually put her in the number one uh, Barbie extras outfit. And I gotta say, <laughs> I am in love what do you guys think look at that isn't she freaking adorable now i actually just did this as a test because a little bit of a spoiler alert i am working on a doll custom and i'll be using this head and i'll be using the barbie extra number one body so it'll be a bit of a switcheroo i won't tell you guys what it is if you guys know me if you know you know <laughs> but yeah i gotta say it actually looks really cute on this doll look at it I love how the fashions just hug all her curves. The Wild Hearts crew dolls in general, I actually really love because they're actually real curvy. And I actually really wish that they continued with them. Like the fashions were kind of meh, but the doll and the concept of it, I actually really liked. It was a failure, so. There's plenty of these still left over, I think, that are on clearance. And I think they're really good for customs. If you guys haven't seen my Pumpkin Spice doll custom, make sure to check that out, link in the description. I'm sorry about that little tangent. Let's continue on. So it appears that this will be the play set and it looks like it's gonna be a boudoir kind of set. And it looks like it's gonna come with a doll. The doll looks like it's going to have the same fun fur that they've been using a lot with these dolls. They must have ordered a whole bunch or something, but it's gonna be in neon green. It looks like she has dark purple hair. Of course, with the pets, I am not a huge fan of the pets. They're pretty cheap and honestly, I get them to my dog to chew up. That's just the little bit of Barbie news that I just had to throw in there. Speaking of Barbie, I wanna take a brief little intermission to remind you guys to subscribe. If you haven't joined the Plastique Nation, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know when I post a new video. Sometimes I do two videos a week, sometimes I do even more. You never know. Subscribe to find out. And I also wanna thank you guys for subscribing. I just passed 700 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for this. Please continue to like, comment, and share. And you never know, your comment might be featured on my next video and speaking of comments i want to give a shout out to one of my commenters from my previous video if you haven't seen it make sure to click the link in the description to watch me unbox a malibu barbie and this comment comes from c cortez and they say i have a 1979 malibu barbie that was a hand-me-down from my older cousins it is the sun loving one that came in bikini not the original 1971 doll as a kid I thought her tan lines were so cool. I didn't realize the 1971 and 79 Malibu dolls were so different until now. So thanks for this. I might have to get another one. Thank you so much for that comment. I actually didn't even know that either, honestly. I actually don't have like a lot of dolls from like the 70s, so I'm not entirely sure how the dolls work, but I really loved that Malibu Barbie. And I'm glad you guys liked it too. So make sure to check out that video and keep an eye out on Thursdays. I do Thrifty Thursdays where we take a trip back in time and unbox dolls from yesteryear. Anyways, let's continue on with the tea, shall we? So last week was Earth Day, April 22nd, and companies tend to do some kind of goodwill post or something. Some of it actually relates to dolls, believe it or not. And the first one is from Disney itself. Disney actually is releasing a plastic free packaging of their dolls. I actually really love this idea. They're obviously taking inspiration from LOL Surprise and their most plastic free packaging and the idea of reusing the package that the doll comes in as a playset itself. It's a great way to teach your children to reuse the packaging and not just throw it away. So we have these images right here. The box actually turns into a cute little playset. It looks like Tangled. It'll turn into like a little tower. And I also 
really love that they included a boy in this picture because not only girls play with dolls, also boys. So I really love that. Disney announces plastic free packaging for the classic dolls and they also did a video. So why don't we take a quick peek at that. love that they included a boy so they're being very inclusive and I'm actually a little bit sad because I actually already have most of these dolls and I'm not a huge collector of duplicates especially like the Disney Store dolls I'm not the biggest fan of them especially recently they've gone down in quality there's Elsa and looks like it might be an ice palace there's Belle and it might be the Beast Castle and Jasmine in her little balcony in from the film this collection includes 15 classic characters such as Queen Anna and Elsa Ariel Belle Jasmine, Moana, Tiana, and more. I know my channel is called Plastique Chat, but it's, you know, it's a running gag. I'm all for recyclable, renewable resources and including that in dolls because I love dolls. And if there's any way to reduce the waste that we produce in our collecting, then I'm all for it. Like I love collecting even old ratty dolls and just transforming them. This is really a step in the right direction. I do want to compare these though, even though I don't have them with me right now two ones that are already released so these ones i bought a while ago and i've been waiting to unbox them and why don't we just unbox them now we have here esmeralda we have wendy and we have my personal favorite alice these come in the classic plastic packaging i wonder if these are included in the new plastic free packaging in terms of these boxes i actually really like these boxes in terms of collectability if you like to keep your dolls in box i'm a deboxer myself so i personally would have preferred the plastic free version because less waste why don't we open these up i'll be right back ah so first i just wanted to show you guys the amount of waste that came with these dolls. Now this is so much packaging just for three dolls. At least some of it's recyclable like the cardboard. This one is Wendy's box and it's so cute. This one looks like it's Esmeralda's. But yeah guys there's so much waste with these dolls and a lot of plastics actually aren't recyclable. Did you know that most states and most cities, the only types of plastic that are recyclable are type one and two. And there's how many different categories? About eight or nine. And only two of those are actually recyclable. The rest, the numbers don't mean anything. It just means it goes straight to the landfill. So I'm glad that they're doing this big move. First off here, we have Esmeralda. And she actually looks pretty cute. I love the black hair. I love the skin tone. What I really love about the Disney Store dolls in general is that every character gets its own face sculpt, which you didn't really see a lot of in Mattel towards the end. So I really like that they still do that. Quality of the doll itself, I have to admit, has gone down quite a bit. The legs are made out of the really cheap rubber that they used to use for Barbie. All the girls are flat footed now, which just looks, I don't know, that looks so unattractive to me in a doll. Let me know what you guys think. The outfit itself, it's pretty cute. I wish it was finished all the way, like this corselet thing. It just ends at the side. But I love the poofy sleeves, the layers, the hair. I love the makeup. Yeah, she's pretty cute. So next we have Wendy and her classic outfit. And she's pretty adorable. Her hair is pretty smashed in the back from being in the box. But I love these ringlet curls. They're so cute. I love the hair color. The face sculpt is adorable. The outfit itself, uh, it's it's all right. I mean, it's better than what Mattel's doing at the moment. It still feels kind of, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of this glittery fabric that they use. It just makes the fabric feel stiff, which is unfortunate because without that, this fabric actually feels like it would be flowy. But I really like the lace trim on the hem along the neckline. I like the poofy sleeves. They're very well done. Overall, it's a pretty well 
Belle made doll. She comes with cute little slippers, although these are very generic. Most of the Disney Store dolls nowadays just come with these slippers. There's nothing special about them. But interestingly, she actually comes with the arch pointed foot, unlike Esmeralda, who is flat footed. Like a web footed duck? I actually prefer this type of foot a lot more. She's pretty freaking adorable. And last but not least, we have one of my favorite characters, Alice from Alice in Wonderland. I'm actually a pretty big Alice in Wonderland fan and collector. Let me know if you guys would like to see a video of that. This is actually my first ever Disney Alice doll, like directly from Disney. And she is so freaking cute. I love the golden hair. I love the black ribbon. I, I love Alice. Of course, I love the face sculpt, the eyes, which look freaking adorable. The outfit could be better, but it's not a bad start. They use the spray glitter all over the fabric, which just makes the fabric feel very stiff. And for the apron, they also use a satin, which I don't know why they would use a satin when her apron should be a cotton. But I really appreciate all the small little details like the poofy sleeves. I love that these all come with poofy sleeves because I know that actually takes some time to make. It's not that fast and easy to make. So I really appreciate that all these dolls came with poofy sleeves. And yeah, there's a lot of details in this outfit alone. Honestly, for the price, it's not bad. I believe I got these when they were on sale. I believe they were about $12 each. They normally go for about $15 to $18, I believe. These aren't that bad. I'm glad I could add these to my collection, especially since I don't collect a lot anymore. And these characters are rare. Like they, they haven't made dolls of these characters. Well, Alice maybe more recently, but I know these two, they haven't made dolls of these two characters in quite a while. I'm also happy that you're doing plastic free packaging now. Good on you guys, Disney. Disney wasn't the only company to send out a message for Earth Day in terms of dolls. LOL Surprise also did a couple tweets where they introduced a new program that they're doing. Let's take a look at their Instagram. They put out this video. LOL Surprise Earth Day Initiative with TerraCycle. We are inspired to protect the planet now and for future generations. As part of this commitment, we've partnered with TerraCycle cycle to ensure LOL Surprise can help create a safe, clean planet for learning and play. Join our movement, learn how you can get involved in our program today and help us reach the next milestone, link in bio. And along with that, they also did this cute little video. That video was, it was pretty cute. Basically what they're doing is that they have this program where you could send in your old LOL surprise dolls, toys, packaging, and according to them, they then recycle the plastics to be used for new products. Now I don't know how exactly they do that. I mean, I don't wanna be the bearer of bad news and you know, be negative, but sometimes these kind of programs can be a little bit misleading because in case you didn't know, plastic is not recyclable over and over like they always leave us to believe it's only recyclable once and then that's it. I like this idea in principle. I think the overall move that they should be doing is just reducing the amount of plastic used in general because most of the plastic used in their packaging is virgin materials. It's not recycled plastic. One thing they could do is actually use recycled plastic in their products instead of using virgin plastic or actually just get rid of the plastic altogether because how many of those annoying zip tie things do we have that are just really hard to open? They are taking steps. I think this is probably in response to the backlash that they received, I believe like a year ago. There were articles that came out about the amount of plastic waste that these dolls produce. I don't really collect LOL surprise the small ones. I'm conflicted because I like the whole surprise element of it, but I feel like they could do that with more recyclable materials than just using plastic because we use plastic to make the dolls themselves. Why not come up with alternatives for the dolls to come in? That's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this is a good move by MGA? They're not just going to solve all our environmental problems by doing this move. There's a lot of steps that we have to do to reach that point. That was it in terms of Earth Day news. Let's go on to the tea that I know you all want to hear. If you haven't heard, in the past week, there have been even more leaks for the LOL Surprise line. If you saw my last doll tea video on LOL Surprise, you know that there were going to be some new doll lines that are coming out, including the BTW Betweens doll. 
all. We had a leaked image of the box, but now we have even more detailed images of what the dolls are gonna look like. So if you don't like spoilers, I suggest you just skip this part of the video because I will be going through what these dolls will entail. Now, this is coming straight from the You Love It website that I talked about earlier. I'm not entirely sure where these images are originated from. Here they are, you guys. These are the new BTWs. They are gonna be slightly smaller than the OMG girls. It looks like they're gonna be six inches in height and they're gonna come with 15 surprises. The whole slogan is B-tweens, which I guess they're like between LOL, the small ones, and OMGs, the big ones. Kind of cute. I'm still not entirely sure if I wanna collect these cause I'm not a huge LOL OMG fan. I mean, I'm like, they're right here. Rainbow High is like, way up here. I prioritize Rainbow High over LOL Surprise, but that's me personally. Let's go through the dolls, shall we? First one is going to be called Cherry BB, and this is the girl from the leaked image from my last video that was going around of the leaked new face mold with the hair. This is that doll, and looking at the box art, it looks so freaking cute. Looks like she's gonna be the teen sister of LOL Cherry, and in the back, you can see we have Hoops Cutie, Fancy Girl, Cherry BB, and Freshest. We got Cherry BB in box, Here's how she comes. Oh my gosh. Okay. I love this outfit. This outfit is 100% Utica from RuPaul's Drag Race. Oh my god. Utica did a look that was very similar to this. Two-toned checker fabric, like picnic fabric. And this was in pink and yellow. I have to admit, it's actually really freaking cute. And she has this really pink hair, braids that wrap around her ponytail. The face mold is a little bit different but again it's the eyes i'm just not a huge fan of the eyes but the fashions the fashions look so freaking cute she comes with this little crop top it has two little silver buttons these pants they're so freaking cute it has a little leather belt it looks like and then the next image is a fancy girl we already saw this so we already know she will be the teen sister of lol fancy that's like the popular one that i think everyone has and they've reused that mold over and over for a bunch of different lol dolls here she is right out of the box she looks so cute so early 2000s i love the lavender color skirt with what looks like butterfly print i can't really tell and i love her cute little lace stockings oh my god this is actually freaking adorable she is so so cute she's giving me very like share vibes very legally blonde very mean girls that time period when i was a teenager and i love that she comes with a natural hair color too it looks like these dolls in general will be articulated in the arms and will probably have the same bend and snap knees that the OMG dolls have. Next, we have Hoops Cutie. Just this artwork alone, I'm like, yes, Slay Queen. I love this. Oh my God. Okay, so let's see what the doll actually looks like. Okay, just right out of the box. <laughs> this one I'm not too sure of, to be completely honest, but I have to see her in her full outfit because in the artwork, I love the jacket and the zipper and oh, it looks so cute. And I love the hair, the way the hair is done. But in the box, it kind of just looks like a blob with some like different colored hair strands just in there. Hopefully it looks better in person. I love that she has like a little boom box and it looks like she has some VHS tapes. So then the last one is Freshest. And this one also looks adorable. I love the blue hair. I love the white or silver outfit that she's going to come with. And I love that she winks. I actually wish that they did this with the dolls. Again, I'm just not a huge fan of those big giant bug eyes. She's going to be the teen sister of LOL Fresh, which looks pretty cute, giving me kind of Simone vibes. This one actually looks pretty cute. I love the denim shorts with the acid wash and the cutout panels with the fishnet underneath. I love the silver over belt and the mesh tank top. It looks really cute. I love the alien theming that's going on here. Oh, and there's even some unboxing photos. So here's big spoilers, you guys. It looks like it's gonna come with the bags that they've been doing a lot lately, the recyclable plastic that they came up with. There's her jacket. Looks cute and silver. She's gonna come with her own, oh my gosh. This takes me back, you guys. How many of you guys had this notebook in high school? I had so many of these. Wow, that just brought me back. 
appears to be her bed that she comes with. I Can I just say I love that her iPhone is broken? That has happened to me so many freaking times. She has some cheese balls. <laughs> this is definitely a teenager's room. Oh, and then she comes with a fanny pack. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's really cute. MGA never disappoints with the shoes. So in love. And then her sunglasses. Oh my gosh. Okay, these sunglasses are actually really freaking cute. I love the chain around them. Remember I was just talking about how Barbie has just given up on sunglasses? Like, this is how you do sunglasses, Mattel. Like, come on. And then the rest of her accessories, which are done in silver, and it looks like it's chains. I can't really tell. But, oh my gosh. She looks really cute. Really, really cute. Very well done. And there she is in her full outfit. They will be $20 each, and they'll be released in July, which is coming up very, very soon. We're already at the end of April, guys. Let me know, guys. Are you guys going to get these? I'm kind of tempted now that I saw the pictures. Like, at first, I was like, meh. But now I'm kind of like, mm hmm. I don't know. Let me know. Do you guys want me to get these? And the last bit of news is just a small, quick little update. Follow up again on the OMG dolls that I talked about in my last episode. It looks like we have more leaked images of what the outfits will look like. I'm just going to go by these really quick because I don't even know if these are official. These were just posted on Facebook. So who knows where they come from. So as you can see, we have the outfit of the boy. I love this, you guys. I love the shorts. The shorts has the art style from that um, one artist. Who is that one artist that did all that art in the 80s? This outfit is very Keith Haring. If you don't know, he was an artist uh, back in the 80s. He did a lot of art to support the AIDS crisis. Just look up his artwork, look up his life story. It's quite interesting. And I love, 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 love the hoodie. It's so cute. It's definitely colors that I definitely would wear, like the pastel greens and the pinks. I love this outfit. It's very millennial. Like a lot of millennial boys, well, I'm one of them. We dress like this. So I will say, I don't know if the shorts are going to be his underwear or if it's a change design from this because in the picture right here he has pants but right here it's shorts so who knows maybe they changed the design that always happens that's the boy and then here we have the actual pieces of the girl i don't remember what her name was the outfit's actually going to be in a very dark navy color it's not going to be in black and i actually really appreciate that because it just gives it a little bit more dimension you can see the dress i'm not sure if that's the top or what underneath her bra and looks like some kind of spandex suit. This looks kind of confusing to me, but yeah, I think it's official. That, that lace looks almost exactly how the picture looks. And then we have her outfit. I forgot her name. I already forgot all the names, guys. But here are some pieces of her outfit. And I love the pastel stripes. So cute. I love the trousers. They look adorable. But yeah, guys, these are so cute. I'm so happy that we got to see a little bit more of these. I'm more excited about the boys now, especially seeing that leaked image of the outfit. And if it's anything like that, I will definitely be getting that boy. It reminds me a lot of me. So yeah, guys, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you for joining me for this episode of doll team if you guys want to see more videos i have plenty more you could click one of the links over there and if you haven't subscribed make sure to click right there and make sure to click the bell icon so you're notified anytime i post a video with that said keep it plastic